If you're trying to impress a woman on a date, mm. but things aren't quite going right for you, mm -hmm. you may resort to the extreme. Uh oh. For example, if your nose is running because you're sick, mm -hmm. just hide that by constantly spilling extra food onto your face. <laughs> So you have to use your Gross. napkin more frequently. Oh my god! Okay. She'll just all... never know about Ew. your head cold with all that Alfredo <laughs> going on. Oh, you had to use Alfredo. No. I mean, one of our no. listeners did something uh. even stranger to make himself look good. Oh, Unfortunately really? for him, the truth all came out in a brand new second date update. Uh -oh. You're gonna hear it right after this. We've read some articles lately where more and more people are getting offline and trying to meet people. IRL. Ugh, I'm glad you Whoa. added line to the end of that yeah. sentence. <laughs> Out in yeah. the real world trying to find people to date. But God. question is, like, where do you go? Because Jose's already locked down all the Taco Bells and free clinics mm. in his area. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's for sure. So what's left for the rest of us dudes? <laughs> well, one of our listeners says he figured out the untapped hotspot where really? no oh. guys are going yet, but high-quality oh. women are all around him. Uh -oh. hey, so let's find out paradise. where this is. Welcome to the show. Scott, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Why do I have a feeling, Scott, that it, the women don't want you wherever you're going? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I mean, wow. if it's all women, it's usually like meant to be that way. No, I'm imagining no. he's in a bed with like 10 women surrounding him right okay. now, modeled. Yeah, don't make fun of me until you hear what I have to say. Oh, yes. okay. Thank okay. you. I'll hear you out. I'll hear but you out. But we do reserve the right to make fun of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where do you go to find single available women? Okay, where I go, my secret, I go to tea shops. Tea, tea oh, shops. the beverage tea. Yeah. Okay. Oh, those cool. those are women dominated. I don't know that I've been in a tea shop. <laughs> are they recently. also women like your age, or like old women? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Tea shops are like the thing right now. It's really trendy. Like a lot of young people are at tea shops. Oh, okay. Mm. I want to go to one. Sounds kind of health forward too. Yeah. Sure. Where are you picking up your sample. loose leaf? Huh? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Is that what the oh, kids no. say? Bro? Yeah. I'm mean, just trying to get in on the trends. <laughs> I'm trend. fine with men in there, just not broke. <laughs> <laughs> tea shop. So how, how does this work, picking up girls at the tea shop? All right. Well, I have I have a bit of a system. Okay. Yeah. okay. What do you do? So I, I go to a tea shop. I go after work mm -hmm. so in, like, the you know, late afternoon. Okay. I take out a little notebook, and I just sit down kind of in the middle area, you know, like sort of in a big, open, neutral area. Okay. Okay. So you're sitting clearly in plain sight of everybody. That's your plan? Yeah. And basically, you make yourself visible. Okay. And you've got your notebook out to like, oh, what's he working on? Women just get curious. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So you look so uninterested in them. You're uninterested in them and you you're smart. You're writing. That alone. Oh. They're like, this guy's brilliant. He knows how to write. He's okay. just signing his name over and over again in the book. But they don't know. Yeah. They don't see the bug. Does that work for you a lot, Scott? <laughs> yeah, I usually just sort of say I'm a part-time writer for a magazine. I'm not. Oh, oh. No. So you lie. Wait, what? Yeah. Why do you lie? <laughs> right, Why don't right. you just say you're... Well, did you hear? Did you see how Alexis perked up when he said magazine? <laughs> well, I want to be featured in the magazine. That's yeah. why. <laughs> There's Get something to color. it. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Do, do they ever ask you what magazine you write for? Yeah, usually I'm just like, oh, you know, it's like a poetry magazine. Uh, or I like say like I say something that they wouldn't know, probably. I see. Oh, okay. I see. A poetry magazine no that's like romantic. Know, right? like, you just get better and better. Yeah. Yeah, you're clearly trying to disarm these women. Yeah, which... I don't know about the lie, but the rest of it sounds okay to me. Would you believe so, him? Like, no. how many times has this worked <laughs> that you've actually met someone this way? It's worked in terms of like an icebreaker, but there's only been one time where I've like really gotten stuck on somebody that I like really liked. Oh. And hopefully that's the one that we're calling today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her name's Kinzak. 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 Okay. I like it. They couldn't decide between Kendall and Zach. So yeah. <laughs> Kenzie, maybe, uh, yeah. you know, uh, throw yeah. in there also. Oh, okay. how, how did you and Kenzak come to be? Well, you know, she was by herself there. I was by myself there. And one of my things that I do is mm. I ask when I order tea for extra lemon slices. Okay. So in case someone doesn't have a lemon slice, I can offer them one. Oh, my God. We wow. I don't think I've ever heard a guy say, so, hey, do you need some extra lemon slices? I've got some for but, you. But I've never been to a tea shop, see? That's we don't know. True. It's probably a is, that, is that what you use on Kenzak? Yeah, no, I absolutely offered her a lemon slice, and that's what started the talking, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
mean, wow. I think if you're in a bar with a vodka soda and someone offers you lime, you're all about yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind like, of the yeah, same yeah, thing. It's true. <laughs> Alexis <laughs> tried so hard to relate. <laughs> but it's weird if a guy like pulls a lime out of his pocket and gives no, it to you. No, not when the vodka soda's no? bad. Okay. No. <laughs> you got She's Alexis's <laughs> check of approval. So she took your lemon slice and then you two were on the path to love. Aww. Yeah, we talked for a guy, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes, like oh, longer wow. than like strangers at a tea shop normally would would talk like okay like it felt like a date okay. so this is you didn't go out again after this well here's the thing i said hey let's hang out again sometime uh-huh. but i gotta run i have a deadline you, it's good to tell people you have a deadline oh. it makes you seem important okay See, he's oh. smart he's smart <laughs> oh right. my gosh it's not your first rodeo okay and then uh we exchanged numbers and we hung out one time after that at a different tea place oh you did oh you oh. did tea again oh. yeah we, we went out one more time but it oh. like kind of didn't count because it was really short oh like how short? How, how short are we talking like within 10 minutes like what? she got a text and said it was an emergency and she had to leave oh, and that's ooh, the last wow. i've heard of her oh that's hardly anything what, wow. do you even, what can you even accomplish in that time maybe when she first met you she was tea drunk and she had those tea goggles on uh, <laughs> didn't know what you really looked what like what are you even talking about what tea do you drink <laughs> seriously <laughs> oh man well, i am open to all possibilities here see okay yeah, yeah. even if you're not on some oolong all right no. No. Really <laughs> yeah, no. You're just adding more words that the editors are going to have to cut out of this before we send yeah, it no out to the air. Hear any of this. No, Jerry, don't. If don't. you do not end this by saying we're going to get the tea uh, next, I I'm done. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. man, that might well, be for the yeah, best. Yeah, it might be good if you <laughs> leave for a while and don't come back. But sorry, Scott. Back to you. How long has it been since that last date happened? That 10 minute date? Like two weeks. No. Oh, oh, and she's not talking there's to been, you. Yeah, no follow up. No. Oh, no. Okay. Do you believe in the emergency, or do you think it's as real as your um, magazine job? writing? Yeah. <laughs> your job. Yeah, I I want to believe it. You know, maybe like she had a real emergency, like someone passed away, and she's just been dealing with that, and like doesn't have time for me. Like, that's yeah. true. like if that's what it is, I want to know that, so like I can be there for her if I need to be, but also it can like ease my stress about it. All right, okay. That's sweet. Sweet tea. Oh, God, Brian. No. There it is. Okay, sorry to end it on a sad note, but we're going to bring it back up. Do your second date update with Ken Zach right after this. I was looking for music to play for a tea house. Hmm. And, uh, oh, I'm sure we could find this something. Feels, this well, feels good. This is like, what I yeah. came up with. No? old, like, Chinese ancient music. No, I think this yeah. is an old English uh, tea. Oh, an English tea? Yeah. Oh, most tea shops are Asian. I, I, had, I had this labeled as coffee house in the system. Uh, that's which is different than a coffee Are you sure you didn't label it nap time? I am. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> it's a sleepy piano. Yeah, this turn like it up. And I it, it's not good enough. I know that. But yeah. this team movement is just so far ahead of us. We're late to the game. Yeah, yeah we don't know. one of our listeners, Scott, Scott said that's how he meets women lately. He goes out to tea shops, posts up right in the middle with a notebook out, and tells the ladies that he's a writer for some fancy poetry magazine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which nobody questions because nobody can actually name a poetry magazine. Yeah, no. no. Right? It just makes him sound sophisticated <laughs> yeah. and deep. You ever heard of poetry magazine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he met a woman named Kenzak recently. Ended up turning that into a second tea time hangout. Uh-huh. Second one ended kind of quickly, though. Yeah, so hopefully yeah. we can get Ten Ken Zach yeah. back on the phone and get this party started. Oh, the right now way. you're doing it, too. Waiting. That was my one. Oh, come now on. You I'm said out. tea time already, and that was kind of cute. But that was, right. like, literally talking yeah, about was, tea time. Was like, literally yeah. sitting down with tea. <laughs> so, Scott, <laughs> we've got all our jokes out of the way. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Feeling okay. pretty good. Okay. Are, are you going to have your pinky up when you make this call? <laughs> I'm going to be as classy as I can be. I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah. All right. okay be classy, all... but don't be shy. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Can I ask real quick, in all honesty, do you think she Google searched your name and figured out you're not a writer? Uh, not 10 minutes into the day. Not 10 well, minutes into the oh, day. you're right. Why would she show up for the second Yeah, that's one? true. Yeah. That's true. That. Okay. Uh, okay. We won't yeah. out you. I mean, you're going to be outed at some point on oh, your own, wow. so yeah. <laughs> can't keep up that line for too long. Yeah. If Brooke has any more of her spiked tees, you don't know what she's going to say in this segment. But here we go. Let's call Ken's. I keep forgetting her name. Ken Zach. Yeah. We're going to call Ken Zach. Let's see what she has to say. Here we go. Hello? Hi. We're looking to speak with Ken Zach. Sorry, who is this? Uh, this is a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Hey, Ken Zach. The hey. whole show is here. Hey, is, good morning. Is this Ken Zach? 
yeah, I'm I'm kind of busy. I don't know if I, I what is this about? Oh, that's okay. Oh, we're okay. real quick. Yeah, we're gonna make this real fast. We're doing something called a second date update, and we're trying to help out one of our listeners get back in touch with you after you went on a couple dates with him. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't I don't know if like do you have a name? Who is it for? Well, it was it was a few weeks ago that you last met up with him. His name's Scott. Do you remember? Oh, you mean the guy that I blocked? Yes, I remember. Wait, you blocked him? him? Wait, the guy from the tea shop? The very one. Wait a minute. Why'd you block him? He said you left the date, like, the second time you guys hung out, 10 minutes in. Yeah, oh, so you talked to him. Yeah, we have a little bit of background before we call you, just to try and figure out, like, what happened on your date. Can I ask, like, what he told you? Sure. Um, yeah. What's the bullet point recap? Uh, Two dates at tea houses separately. Mm-hmm. The first time you guys talked for 20 to 30 minutes and seemed to really connect. And the second one you left after about 10 minutes because you got a text. Right. Okay. Well, so basically, I mean, I don't know if the first one was a, like we met at the tea house and like talked for a little while and then we decided to hang out again. Mm-hmm. Um, so he got to the second hang before I did and already like got the tea and had it on his table. So I Did you think that was rude that he had already ordered without you? Um I was a little surprised but like it wasn't a huge like that's not a wasn't a deal breaker for me or anything. Or anything. Okay. okay. That's so that's breaker. that's not the reason. Well, we're trying to help him figure out if there was some sort of issue that happened. So basically we chat for a few minutes and then I turn to look up. There's like a menu on the wall that's like facing away from, it's like away from where I'm sitting. So I'm like turning away from the table and looking at the menu. Okay. okay. And when I turn back around, I don't think he was like quite ready for me to turn back around. Why? Um, what do you mean? Because I will feel so like I turn around and I noticed him like he was dropping a blue pill into his tea. <gasps> What? Into his into his own tea? Huh? Yeah, well, I didn't have one yet. Oh, oh, with a wait. blue pill? Oh, the blue yeah. pill. Yeah. Wouldn't you just the, take it? The would, blue pill? What kind of expectations would you have at a tea date? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> minutes in. Well, that was kind of my question. I was like, I don't know what he's expecting to happen, uh-huh. but like uh-huh. that immediately threw me off. Are you sure it wasn't yeah. like a sugar cube or, you know, something uh-huh. that maybe you... Oh, yeah. Just a normal multivitamin, perhaps. A but why one. wouldn't you just take it? Why did you dissolve it in your tea? <laughs> it tastes better? I don't know. I had all those same questions. It definitely threw me off, but I was like, maybe I didn't see what I thought I saw. Maybe okay. it was sugar or something. So I'm like trying to keep the conversation going. And a few minutes later... He tells me like, "Hey, like it's so. Cool. I just got the back seat of my car upholstered. We should go check it out." Oh, oh my gosh! No. The just back the back seat. seat only. How could you be so unclassy at a tea show? Oh my <laughs> the gosh. blocking is making sense now. Well, you, what? You don't believe him? You don't think he really got his car reupholstered? Who cares? Even if <laughs> you don't really want to see that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It just it was very odd, and it sounded like a line. Oh yeah. So, yeah, okay. you never want that. So yeah. I just. Well, Very awkwardly pretended I had a tech. I think that's a good idea. I think we can uh-huh. all definitely yeah. see how that looks bad, yeah. but there is a chance that a totally logical, reasonable explanation exists for this. Yeah, mm-hmm. from the really honest guy? <laughs> totally. <laughs> and he uh-huh. just happens to be on the other line right now listening to this call, Ken Zach. What? Yeah, Sorry. Scott's there. Hey. Hey, Ken Zach. How's it going? <laughs> Coming in real did, casual. Uh, what, did you just hear what she said? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you think you saw of me putting a pill? In the drink. What I think I saw? Oh. Are you, you saying, not? like, I don't know what I saw? Ooh. Well, I mean, is, that what, is that what you think you saw? <laughs> he's, he's like, <laughs> Why is your voice yeah. getting higher there, I, man? I think he's, like, trying an exit strategy right now. Honestly, this is not really helping your case right now. Yeah, yes, I mean, that's, 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 what that's I, uh, weird. I, quote-unquote, think I saw. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's weird. I don't know. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> don't know. You don't do, know. You are do like the re- worst liar. Do you recall any of the details of like putting something into your own tea? I mean, I wish you could just say it was a Skittle or something. Or like, what? <laughs> There's no blue Skittles. <laughs> M&M's. M- something? No. I would love to hear a different explanation of what it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just explain to us what happened. It's what? interesting how long it's taken to you <laughs> I know, to I know. get to. Just what was happening story. in your mind, Scott? <laughs> Okay, here comes the truth. Okay. That was a true sign. <laughs> no, Just give it thinking. to us, Scott. Well, it's a long story. Just you need a big breath to tell it. Like sure. parts of the story made up so far. Go ahead, Scott. What, what was going on? 
I just don't know why you'd be offended by someone who just wanted to be prepared. What? Oh, man. Oh, that is... <laughs> always be ready. Wow. That's my motto. No, 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 no man. man. Bro, you can't walk around always ready like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which that's way is illegal. a tea shop? No. <laughs> Dude, that's so gross, man. God, yeah, that's oh, objectively bro, not good date behavior. That's such yeah. a selective thing. And man. it's such a turnoff. You know, journalists got to learn things. Journalists? Oh, you're back to oh, journalism? Okay. <laughs> I thought you, you were, were a poetry writer. I thought writer. you were a poet. Oh. Yeah. Are you honest about anything, Scott? Scott? I really did have the back seat of my car re-upholstered. It's really nice back there. Okay. He wasn't lying. All right, well. Why was it bad to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> tea spills back there. Oh, no. I just like to treat people right. I don't know what the Whoa, problem is. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, It'll never happen in the back seat to treat anyone right. Oh, man. It's pretty awkward. <laughs> we don't know that until uh, we ask because we, no, we always no, offer. No, not this time. We back always offer to date. send out for, to send you guys out for a second oh. date that we would pay for. I didn't know that you saw what you saw. Uh-huh. Uh, it was supposed to be uh, <laughs> just chill. Just chill. <laughs> Herbal tea and chill. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to hang out again if you're up for it. Oh, I can show you. I can show you not. That's what she feel. interrupted him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scott, that, that's going to be a no, it sounds like. I'm God, sorry, dude. She saw you, too much. What are you doing, man? Just the only you cool got there before me. Why did you wait till I got there? I yeah. know. <laughs> Papa, before yeah. you walk into the freaking shop. Well, then she walks in. He's at like full attention. Come on. <laughs> You got to plan these things out. You did it. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've learned we've learned uh, some stuff, uh, Scott. Yeah. Too much. I don't want to learn anymore. That's much. enough of a lesson. I'm not me. going to a tea oh, shop bro, anytime soon. That was too much tea. Yeah, it was yeah. too much tea. <laughs> the tea was too hot. <laughs>